Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. I have been thrifting. Again, I love thrifting. And I have bought a couple of frames, wooden frames with some gold ornate touches to them. So I will fix them and then I need some artwork to go with them. So I have decided to paint something. So stay tuned for this. For my first DIY, I started out with this frame here that I thrifted for two euros, about the same in US dollars. First thing I do is to take off what's in that frame at the moment. It was just a poster attached to something that seemed like a canvas. And then I take all the nails out from the sides that kept the glass in place. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs. I do thrift flips, trash to treasures, some dupes, renovation of my home and I even do some pottery and some painting. Anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. After cleaning up the frame I refresh it with some gold paint. My gold acrylic paint is very very bright so I put in just a touch of black into it to antique it a bit. So just one coat of this paint and now I'm taking the glass that was in the frame and trace it on an MDF board and that will be my canvas. So hubby is helping me here to cut it out with our jigsaw. Simple as that. And then I will have a canvas that will fit the frame. Now I will put on two coats of a base coat, a greyish colour that match my interior and I set it aside to dry for a bit and then I will find myself something to paint on this canvas. And you can see in the left corner a picture that I have taken, black and white picture of a uh, a house that I think is very beautiful in our little town and it looks so nice with that uh, a little bit of snow on the ground and the pale winter sky so I will have that as my inspiration and now I'm painting with different kinds of greys and whites the sky because I have to paint it in layers so everything that goes in the background first and I'm trying not to think too much of uh, what I'm painting rather just putting on shadows and highlights to create dimension in my painting and eventually maybe it will look like snow Now I have advanced a little bit and focusing on the building and my painting will be a little brighter than the one you see there, my inspiration. So I will just let you watch here. So I have the first layers, the sky, the snow, the building, and now it's time for the trees, the winter trees.
and the last layer is the iron gate Time to put my painting into the frame and I need something to hold it in the frame and I'm just using very very thin wood strips. Cut them to size and then I will staple them onto the frame like that. And for this one that was quite big I needed one more on the bottom so I just cut it to size and staple it into place. You will see the reveal just right after my next painting. So let's go and do my DIY number two. And I picked up this beautiful wooden frame. It has um, a painting, I think it's uh, like watercolor or something. It's not signed, so I don't think it's uh, valuable or anything. So I start out, same here, to just take out what's inside that frame and this frame is a little bit wobbly it has cracks uh, in the corners so i need to really mend it before i continue on with the painting so everything is off there now i'm taking everything apart it was stapled together and i will still staple it together but what I will add now is some wood glue. There we go. Fits good together. Wood glue on. Just holding it into place. And it sags a little bit there. So I have to support it before I staple it. Like that. And on to the next corner. Just wiping off the excess glue in between just put two staples in each corner to start with just to get everything together and once i'm happy and everything looks good then i go in and put some extra staples in each corner And I need to put something heavy on top of it to really hold it together and the clamp as well and set it aside to dry overnight. And now I'm just refreshing the frame with the antiqued gold color that I used for the other frame as well. Set it aside to dry and then it's time to focus on my canvas and I will do the same here just using an MDF 
board. Just trace the size onto the MDF board like that and then hubby is cutting it out for me today save me some time I have already put on two coats of my greyish color here as a base coat and as you can see in the right hand corner this time I have my inspiration photo that I found online I love the will of life if you will a small beautiful flower just growing in the concrete in the crack of a concrete slab like that when there is a will there is a way so here I'm creating the background the concrete I've just marked out where the crack should be it doesn't need to be exact as the photo of course and I am putting on my colors, different kinds of gray and white with a paintbrush and then blend them with a sponge. And I'm just dabbing away until I'm happy with the result. working on the crack now with different kind of gray here as well and black and i'm trying not to work out how a crack looks like more just look at what i see in the photo where the highlights are where the shadows are and try to recreate that somewhat And now on to the flower. It will not be the exact color, but something like that. And when you're painting, art is what you make it. And this is an inspiration piece. It doesn't matter if you paint a blue or pink flower, just make it your own and have your inspiration piece just as it is an inspiration Now putting the canvas into the frame and I had a gap between the backing and uh, the wood strips. I put an extra one there to support it. 
Et voilà, here they are beside my beautiful bouquets that I just made in my previous video. And I have hung them up with some chains that I attached to some hooks. And then I have hooks in the frames and I just hang the frames onto the chains. So tell me what you think of my thrift flips and uh, wall art today. Did you have a favourite? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing and hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one video per week. I think they look very pretty together and against the wall and the bookcase and everything I have uh, around in this corner tie it together with that touch of gold if you are inspired and you want more straight away just hit that DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here just click and enjoy thank you so very much for watching see you soon again in my next one until then, take care. Bye.